It has definitely become a trend over the past few years for celebrities to come out with their own beauty brands, be it skincare, makeup. And we've had some great results from it. And we've also had some not so great results from these celebrities wanting to be part and cash in on the current trends of makeup and skincare. And there are definitely some releases from some celebrities that kind of made us say, okay, that's a bit too far now. Like you're taking the piss. I have a question for you before we get into today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Does a celebrity for you being tied to a brand cheapen it for you or does it make it a little bit more luxury? Let me know what you think in the comments. And do please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, follow me on TikTok and Instagram for some exclusive content you won't find here on YouTube. What's on my face is linked in the description box as well. Just before we get into today's video and before I do any makeup, I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor and that is Hello Fresh. Yes, the Hello Fresh. As the days are getting a little bit shorter and the night comes in quicker, the weather's getting a little bit colder, the last thing I want to do at the end of any day, busy day, lazy day, is go out to a shop, finding ingredients, deciding what I'm going to eat that night when all I really want is like cozy food, you know, like cozy comfort food. And that's where HelloFresh comes in. It is so convenient. And you get to choose from a big list of recipes each week for you to make yourself at home. It comes pre-packaged and pre-proportioned for you. Everything is kept nice and cool. And all the meals come in these numbered bags and so do the recipe cards. So you know which bag to match up with which recipe. It is such incredible value for all the variety you get to choose from and the quality of the ingredients. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about good value in a bit. Okay, it's happening, I'm cooking. The chicken breast in truffled mushroom sauce. A meal that would usually intimidate me, but I've done it before with HelloFresh. I can do it again. I'm not scared, I'm not scared. Let's go. So personal story time, I do not cook well at all. I cannot cook. And the only time that I've actually cooked successfully and I liked what I cooked was with HelloFresh. So my partner was sick. My partner does all the cooking. So I was like, I'm going to cook. I'm going to do it. We've had HelloFresh for that week. I've always used HelloFresh throughout the year at different points. And one of the recipes was enchiladas. I was like, I want them. I wanted the cheese, you know? And I cooked it and I followed the recipe. It couldn't have been easier. Every single step was laid out for you, including like, while you're doing this, do this. This should be happening and you should be doing this now, you know? It turned out amazing. I liked it. My partner liked it. And that's very rare for my partner to like my cooking. And it's very rare for me to like my own cooking. So I have been a fan of HelloFresh for a very long time. Okay, so far so good. The oven is preheating. I absolutely love that it tells you meanwhile. Where's the camera? Meanwhile, while you're doing this, do this. Because that's, that's where I get in my head with cooking. But you know, I feel like a chef today. It's going well. And HelloFresh have the most incredible offer for you at the moment. If you use my code ROBERTW, the link down below in the description box, or even this QR code that I'll put on the screen right here for you, you can get 60% off your first box. That is a huge, huge discount. It doesn't stop there though. You can get 25% off your next two months worth of HelloFresh orders and some free gifts along the way too. Okay, so I put the gravy in a little bit different, but you can't tell me that does not look the same. So this is my dinner. I made it myself. I'll try a bit of everything at once. Oh my God. That is so good. And I made it. I never like anything I make. That tastes so good. That sauce is amazing. Thank you so much again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Back to me. Okay, so these celebrity brands, in my opinion, don't be mad at me, have n no business having a beauty-related brand in general, okay? And that's not to say they aren't a successful brand or the brand isn't successful or doing well, but their c connection to, like, the beauty world is kind of loose and or non-existent pre this brand. Now here's something we have to consider before we talk about these brands, okay? Things I'm not considering a reason to have a beauty related brand is I use skincare all the time. I have my makeup done all the time. Also just being like a beautiful looking person. <laughs> You know? Okay, let's start with the first one. This this one, more than anything, actually no, because the second one was, listen, they're, they're all equally as what the fuck. First one, Brad Pitt's skincare brand. So if you didn't know, Brad Pitt has a skincare brand called Le Domain. Le Domain? It's not so much just his brand per se, really. It's kind of like this 
idea birth from him and this family, we'll get into it. But him being a celebrity and him having a famous face is definitely a huge selling point for this company, for this brand, and for the skincare line in general. So here's a backstory to this brand, if you didn't know already, I'm not sure why you would no, unless you're like a huge Brad Pitt fan or a, a wine fan. So Brad Pitt had or did have, there was a, a whole lawsuit. I, I didn't really get into it because it's not about his wine thing. It's about the skincare. He had like a, a winery or a vineyard or something. Um, and there was a whole lawsuit about it, including Angelina Jolie, which I just, I didn't want to read into. I was just interested in, in where this skincare thing came from. Anyway, he had like this vineyard, winery, whatever. And in preparation of launching his wine, his wine company, he kind of wanted to make sure it was like the best it could be. So a friend of his introduced him to this family, the parents' family. Now this family have a long line, like legacy, known for their vineyard. Vineyards, I think they had a few. You can find on their website a lot, a lot of information about this family. When you go to like the about section of this brand, there is loads and loads and loads of information about what they do, not in terms of the skincare, <laughs> everything else and then it just cuts to this quote of like yeah and then we decided to do skincare honeys where's the in between what's happened to the in between a quote from their website says it took more than 10 years to compare them i think they're talking about grapes and come up with a formula that maximizes the antioxidant effects of each the idea of a cosmetic brand soon followed and then it's just like yeah and then we met brad and then that was it so anyway this brand includes two collections the essential and the luxury luxury collection, okay? This brand is expensive, like crazy expensive, so it's super high-end, but the Essential Collection, which sounds like, you know, when you go to a store and buy their own brand stuff, includes the Serum Global Anti-Aging Antioxidant, 222 pounds. The Fluid Cream, Daily Anti-Aging Lightweight Texture, 194. The Cream, anti-aging antioxidant radiance 194 and then there's two bundles so you can get by the you know the bundles of the products together the two-step routine which has a cleansing emulsion and the cream or fluid cream 230 pounds and then you can get the complete routine so a bit of everything the cleansing emulsion the serum and the cream or fluid for 420 pounds that is 500 pounds that is half of some people's monthly wages that is insane but those prices Prices are cut by 20% <laughs> if you sign up for auto replenish. So they'll send it out to you however long, which I just, I don't think I could commit to that. And then we have a luxury collection. It's basically the same thing, but with these horrible, in my opinion, <laughs> ugly lids that look like organic soap dishes. They're, they're just these chunky, horrible, out of balance, like lids. They, they add about $30 or 30 pounds onto the initial price just for that. Okay, so now listen, is Brad Pitt known for being a good looking actor yes in some people's opinion whether you think he's good looking or not that's what he's known for everyone's like oh my god brad pitt you know um, nothing about him screams skincare even looking at him now yes he has aged incredibly well but i wouldn't say out of the ordinary you know this i found interesting there's a part on their website that's literally titled not another celebrity brand from its creation le domain was to reflect its history and the encounters that made it unique Naturally, Brad Pitt and the Perrin family agreed that they did not want the brand to be represented by one face alone. The terrier? Terror, terror, terror. Oh my God, I can't even, that's so terrible. That. The historical regional roots, the unique qualities of the estate, the involvement of renowned scientists and the patented active ingredients resulting from 20 years of R&D are all pillars of a story that's powerful on its own. Okay. Cool, sure. But when you open a website, it's Brad Pitt, you know? I mean, who else? Who else is involved? Like, this, these random guys on their website that you don't know who they are unless you read the backstory, which is a little bit up the top. These guys, this guy, like, it's like, it is, it is, Brad Pitt is the face of a brand. And that's, you know, that's, yeah. <laughs> the brand has won awards. It's won the Women's Health Awards, L Awards as well. And um, some report called Rob Report Growing Awards growing awards that doesn't sound right whatever that is <laughs> i don't hate luxury skincare or makeup i think there's a place for it and of course people buy it and you know what if you're like some kind of multi-millionaire 
why not? And maybe the brand is good. I don't know. I don't know anything about skincare. I, I just feel like it's, I don't know. I It's one of those things where you're like, but why? There's actually very little footage of Brad Pitt talking about skincare in general and his his skincare. And what I did find is kind of awkward to watch and a little bit like, oh. You know about this all, you know, running from, from aging, but this idea of, of being, including men being, you know, more health minded with our skin and our and our regimen was something that we that I'm interested in. So when when this idea, you know, that we've been reading about the the health properties of and the antioxidants of of the wine skins and knowing that was something we throw away. This is this started our investigation so many years ago. And another thing, they say they've been researching this, like these grapes and the thing for years and years and years and years. So in my mind, and then the brand just happens to be released around the time where we're having this big skincare boom. Here's the deal. In my mind, vineyards absolutely have this amazing ingredient that is incorporated in this, the skin of grapes. Resveratrol, I believe it's called, or I swear some called it Reversatrol once, but it's that kind of like antioxidant, anti-aging kind of ingredient. Um, which of course, yeah, do something with it. And I feel like they just knew Brad Pitt. I was like, listen, people are doing skincare. Do you want to come on board? We're going to do the skincare thing. We think we can make a big, big money from it. That's it. I don't think it was as hand in hand, them together going on this journey together. Now this, I was going to say was the one where I was like, oh my God, extra what the fuck? But actually the Brad Pitt one, I was equally. Ellen DeGeneres had a skincare line. She still does have a skincare line called Kind Science. Um... <laughs> So this was announced in October 2021, so quite a while now. Mm. Okay, talk show hosts releasing a skincare line. You know, home decor I get, home decor, kitchen things, a recipe book. You know, things that happen on, on the show and things like that, Ellen DeGeneres, perhaps a board game. There aren't like beauty segments on her show either, or often anyway. You know what, even garden stuff, garden garden furniture. So apparently all this all came about because Ellen was talking to her friend who just happened to be like a cosmetic scientist, I guess. And she was saying how she wanted to use anti-aging products or as they put it, age friendly, I think it was called. But her skin was quite sensitive. So she was finding like the ingredients quite harsh for her skin, which I don't believe at all. Okay, take a look at this clip, right? But this this, this video just gives the vibe of I don't know my products. This is a huge, huge pet hate for me is people, celebrities who don't know their own product. Watch this. Well, as I've mentioned, I am launching a brand new skincare line. It's called Kind Science. I created it with my friend. This is Victoria Jackson. Oh. And we worked on this line for years and I'm very, very excited to finally share it with you. Here You've worked on it because yep. you know all the stuff that's in it and it's it's all age positive. Yep. We don't like saying anti-aging. No. We like age positive. I knew I had to think about all the things that were really important to you, Ellen, because this is your line. And it had to be eco-kind. It had to be animal kind. It had to be skin kind and yep. you'll all love it because it also had to be kind to your wallet. Yes, so yeah. we, have, we have seven amazing products. Yes. I love them all. Um, so let's start with uh, one, one of our favorites. I mean, I love them all, but yeah. hydration cream. And uh, you tell it, because uh, she knows everything about what's in there. And what I should say this, what makes it really special, because you're going to hear things that other really important and, and uh, you know, popular skincare lines have. But what we did, because it's called science, yep. is it's the way it's combined. It's that, the way it's combined. That makes it work yep. so differently than other skincare lines. It's, 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 it's a little bit of magic in there, but they're all really highly curated, globally sourced plants, okay? So each product has its own unique set of plants. And then the kind science, which is really amino acids, peptides, proteins that activate the product. So starting with the hydration, hydration cream. cream, which is so amazing. And you have to think about this line has incredible textures because we all go into a lab and think about how we're gonna formulate. I know women love things that feel great on the skin and really work. Everything had to work. And snow mushroom is a plant that holds about a thousand times its weight in water. So when you actually put it in a plant, uh, put the plant in this product, in the base, it's like a drink of water for your skin. It's, it's like drinking, so yeah, it's hydrating. like drinking so much water without having yeah. to pee. It's like yeah. you, you completely, yeah. because that's why I drink so much water, but then I have to pee. Yeah. So then I, now I never drink water. I, it's, people are going to be, they're yeah. going to be addicted to that. No, it's fantastic. It's incredible. And, and, when, and it, you combine it with the serum. 
Yes. Well, yes. You, uh, yeah, I do the serum first, yep. and then the firming serum, and then it dries really, really fast. Um, and then you put the moisturizer on, and it's amazing. So if you're in, if you're in, then put makeup on after that. So if you're a yeah. clown, for instance, the, the time it saves you <laughs> if yes. you're putting clown makeup on. Because we tested it on clowns. Did we? I didn't yes. know. I was just it's saying. Small children, clowns, yes. hydration cream, kangaroo flower is in there, which is an amazing, it's all of the products. When you use these, Ellen, because we tested this for a couple years, 100% of women said they felt definitely more hydration, and about 97% said they could really see a difference in wrinkle reduction and the firmness of their skin. From the kangaroo that's in it. And there, yes. no, kangaroos no kangaroos were hurt. No. It, it's a kangaroo flower. No kangaroo is actually exactly. in it. Exactly. Yes. No, no animals were hurt. Okay. This is all... Right. No kind. animals were tested even, no. so no, no animal, no, 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 no. no testing. No. So, yeah. so here's my deal, right? You've been working on this brand for three years. Three long, long years. And you couldn't learn the ingredients and its benefit. You had to hand it over. And then, you know, the, the only thing you can do is, like, joke about some things. Like, yeah, make jokes, but also, like have some knowledge. So here's here's how I think about this, right? If you don't know, I used to work in um, Epcot and Disney World in the Rose and Crown pub, okay? And I was a server there. You had to learn the menu inside out, plus the wines, plus the cocktails. Then take a test on that, and then you could become a server. That was a standard. Now, here's the deal. If me, with my severe dyslexia, can learn that menu within, like, two weeks and be absolutely fine with it, which I'm not good at doing, Ellen could have learned two key ingredients of each of her products and their benefits over three years. 100%. Over a year, let's be real. But what this release was particularly bad for was the, the timing and the name. So the name Kind Science is kind of a nod to Ellen's um, catchphrase, or what do you call, like, mantra, motto, be kind, for which it came out at around that time. Now, actually, she's the complete opposite. She's a total, total horrible person, as I'd say something awful. So in 2020, staff that worked on the Ellen show, if you don't know this, started coming out on the saying, Ellen is the worst person to work for. She creates this really horrible environment. She's a bully and, and she mistreats all the staff who work there. Not only that, but celebrities were coming out with their stories of their horrible experiences on the Ellen show. And even like other guests who were told, you know, not to look Ellen in the eye and things like that. And all of them are saying and agreeing that Ellen's like, be kind, kind of, a personality was a show. It was just for the cameras and just for everyone to believe she was like this great, really nice person. And she really wasn't. And even to this day, celebrities and other people have um, appeared on the show are still sharing their stories of horrible experiences with them. But this is kind of proven not all press is good press. That was actually really bad press. And now Ellen's once like kind, persona is now one of that of like this really horrible horrible person with a bad attitude who thinks very highly of themselves for some reason okay let's move on to the last one ellen and brad pitt kind of don't make sense this one kind of makes sense in in a point that tyra banks was involved in the kind of beauty world the fashion industry did you know she tyra banks had a pyramid scheme <laughs> or a multi-level marketing company as I know now. So Tyra Beauty was almost like, kind of think of it like Avon, right? Like you have the Avon representative and they can sell to all these people or they can join the team and sell as well, become part of a selling team, create their own career. And then this person here, if they recruit this person here, they would get commission from their sales. But if this person here recruited someone down here, they would get also um, commissions from their sales. Also, that was a business model. Triangular, almost. It was this business model for people to be financially free, sell makeup, do something you love doing, you know, with these great products. With, like, most pyramid schemes or multi-level marketing companies, you would have to buy a starter set. So you have this little kit that you can either, like, take to parties and try the makeup on people and they would buy it, or, you know, I guess go door to door. I don't think anyone does that anymore, and that's pretty dangerous. Or just share it on your socials and then sell it through that way. And the prices of these kits, I mean, don't get me wrong, all the kits are bad, but the prices weren't bad in comparison to most pyramid schemes you see nowadays. You see nowadays, sorry. So they had the basic kit for $80, that was seven products, and then you had Beyond Basic, that was $139, that included 15 products. Both kits included biz materials, so I guess like little bits you can hand out, I don't know, signs, I don't know. 
because it was being marketed as this home business that's gonna make you rich. Some of the products from this brand included Cheek in a Stick, Two Minute Light and Sculpt, Oops Liner, What Lipstick, and Smack My Fat Lash. I don't get that name. Like, why would someone smack your lashes? And lashes doesn't even rhyme with like ass either. So it's not like smack my fat ass, you know? It's like, that's like a really shit name. <laughs> And I saw an advert for this mascara and Tyra's like, Look, I have something to say to anybody who's trying to kill your dreams. People that say, you're not good enough. Join me in telling them to smack your flat, juicy, skinny, saggy, fat lash with Smack My Fat Lash Mascara. Mascaras either lengthen or thicken. Wouldn't it be great if your mascara did both? Mascaras only lengthen or thicken. Wouldn't it be great if you can get one that does both? and then goes on to talk about Smack My Fat Lash mascara as if it's the first ever mascara to lengthen or thicken. Whereas actually you can get mascaras that lengthen and thicken and curl and do everything else. It's not like a brand new thing. It's not some mythical product. Well, Smack My Fat Lash mascara has a secret two in one formula that you can see. The blue side thickens with nourishing micro hydra tubes for va va volume. The black side lengthens with 3D lash extension technology for la 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 length. The black and the blue fuse together to create the fiercest black. I call it la black. Smack my fat lash. Wanna smack our fat lashes together? You don't wanna. Smack my fat lash mascara. Available at Tyra.com. One thing I did notice though, watching these adverts, is it seemed that a lot of contestants from America's Next Top Model were in these um, adverts. Now, I didn't watch the later seasons when they started to mix genders for um, the contestants. And I wonder, if anyone did watch it, was this a task for them within the season of America's Next Top Model? So unpaid? Or was this like a paid job at the end for some of the best? Let me know, I'll be interested to find out. I couldn't find anything about it. Oh my God, I have, it's the kind of teeth. Has that been there the whole time? Oh my God, how embarrassing. Um, so if you were a member of Tyra's uh, scheme, <laughs> if you sold her products, you were called a beauty tainer. <laughs> So like an entertainer, but with beauty, yeah. So in an article I found from thecut.com called, I made a whopping $27.75 selling Tyra Banks beauty products. Just so you can understand how a business model works and how it fails a lot of people. Let me just read this to you. To be an active beauty tainer, I needed to sell $150 worth of products for the first month or buy $150 worth of products myself that I can then show potential buyers the brand doesn't give free samples to start with. I also had to pay $59 to enroll. After I paid my fees, I ordered the products Leanne suggested, which I guess was a person who recruited her, the six minute try over kit, the Smize eyeshadow palette, the stick with me makeup setting spritz, the Oops eyeliner, and the Menage, Menage brow, all amazing, Leanne says. I'd spent $231.30, but spending money was only temporary. If I sold $150 in products a month, I'd make 25% commission, which is only $37.50. But if I sold $500, I'd get an additional 5%. And if I'd hit $1,000, I'd get an additional 10%. I'd make even more if I enrolled another beauty tainer, 3% off that person's sales. From there, the more you sell and recruit, the more bank signs you get until you reach Diamond Beauty Tainer, the highest level which comes with so many perks that feels like Tyra is just blowing her America's Next Top Model fortune. I already felt rich. Mmm, sounds fishy to me. So the brand stuck with this business model, the MLM multi-level marketing company business model uh, for two years and then they decided to just go basic retail, which I believe they should have done in the first place because now people who had bought all these kits like we saw in, in that statement and buying all these products to keep up their monthly spending so they can stay at the level they're at, all that money they spent on all those products for what? For what now? Now you have loads of products you can't sell and make a commission from. Not that I believe they should have done it in the first place, but don't bring on people on board 
and then technically make them lose their jobs or an, a source of income. So Tyra Beauty no longer exists. It's it's just no, nowhere. But I did find some really interesting bits online, like people's um, blogs about it from back in the day. Here's the thing, right? Tyra Banks was a name already. She had a name for herself. It is super easy for a celebrity to have a brand go instantly into stores if they want it to happen, if they wanted that to happen. Tyra Banks could have had a brand in Ulta, Target. She could have had this affordable brand in stores. Target would have been incredible. And then you can kind of change up with trends a little bit. This multi-level marketing structure is by no way the best thing to go down. She really made a lot of money from it, but could have possibly made a little bit more, you know? had the right decisions been made in the first place. So that's a few brands that I feel didn't need to exist or don't need to exist, or I just don't understand. Let me know your opinions down below. I would love to see what brands from celebrities you are quite, you're a bit like, I don't, whether it be beauty or something else, let me know down below if there's any celebrity brands you're like, why does this exist? I'll be very interested to get into that discussion with you. And I'd just like to say again, a huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Check out the link down below, the QR code on the screen and don't forget to use my code Robert W. Consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up and you can watch more videos like this right here. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.